uh, we are solving for x today we are still dealing with solving for x so the question is solve for x and then the equation we are given as 5x into x minus 3 is equal to 2 can you notice something there can you just notice that okay our x is already factorized but there's something happens our right hand side is not equal to zero i said our right hand side should be equal to zero so what we need to do first we can say 5x x minus 3 and then take that 2 across minus 2 is equal to 0. A question I'm asking you, does this thing in the standard form, the standard form I said before, ax squared plus bx plus c is the form of, the, of that way. Does that in the standard form? But the answer is no. It is not in the standard form. What do we need to do? We need to say 5x times x. We need to open these brackets, which is 5x squared. 5x times minus 3, which is minus 15x minus 2 is equal to 0. I hope you see this now is in the standard form. So what do we need to do? When your equation is in the standard form, check for discriminant. Discriminant will tell you how are you going to solve. So where does it come from? It comes from this formula, quadratic formula. You can just see that discriminant is what is under the square root. So D is equal to. Our P is minus 15 squared, minus 4. A is what? Is the coefficient of S squared, which is 5. And C is minus 2. Just take your calculator and say minus 15, which is B squared, minus 4. A is 5. And minus and minus 2 which is our constant the answer is 265 put that 265 under the square root do you see that it remains as a set which means that we are not going to factorize We are not going to factorize, we are going to use a quadratic formula for to solve for x minus b plus minus b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. x is equal to first minus what is our b? Minus 15 plus can start by plus sign and then what is the discriminant is 265 we have already checked it divide by 2a what is our a is 5 so the first answer is go to your calculator straight and say minus into minus into minus 15 plus 265 which is discriminant 2 times sorry 2 times a our a is 5 your answer round off to 2 decimal places your answer is 3.13 
3.13 or go back and use your negative sign now or your answer now is x is equal to minus 0 point the right of two to two decimal places one three if you can see have solved for x these are the values that we wanted can you see where we started five and then the first rule says the right hand side should be equal to zero the next rule the formula must be in the standard form and then check for discriminant the discriminant remains as set so we are going to use quadratic formula in order to solve for x and then we used we started to use plus sign and we pressed our calculators and we used negative sign because there are two values plus sign is going to give you a first value and negative sign is going to give you an, a second value so can you see that we didn't use the formula for factorizing first one we are factorizing when when the discriminant comes out of a square root when the discriminant doesn't remain as a set 